readers, our next book of the day is The Couch Potato, written by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Oswald. I am a potato. Not a small potato like my brother. Not a sweet potato like my mother. Not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place is to slouch. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. <sighs> Why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. See, I have this, and this, and this, and one of these, and those, and this. Yum. And that. And these. Oh, and this. Check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam. Impressed? And I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going to the kitchen. Don't you think? If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. <sighs> but wait, there's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectac spectacular, right? Yes, it's a sea of shimmering screens. From wall to shining wall. What joy. What a bliss. These screens feature my favorite shows. This screen has all my unanswered messages. These screens are where I play video games. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best spud for life. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's, it's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere, like folks did in the old days. That's for sure. Hey, Spuddy. Hey, pal Tato. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, eh? <sighs> yes, sirree. This is the life. At la- or at least. That's what I thought, until the other day. What do you think, readers? What does he, what does he mean, until the other day? Huh. Can you predict what that might be? Let's find out. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. Whoosh. Do, do, do. It was my newest device, a video camera that would allow me to watch myself rea react while I was watching all my favorite shows. Woohoo! All I had to do was plug it in, and my room, nay, my kingdom, would be complete. But suddenly, what happened, readers? What happened? Predict what just happened. Let's see. Everything went dark. Look out! 
coming through. Whoops. Ow. Womp. I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtains. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. Wow. Readers, imagine pulling back curtains to that. Wow, isn't that beautiful? There was nothing better to do. So I decided to take my dog Tater for a walk. Outside. It had been a while. Everything was so vivid, like a high-resolution 156-inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized that it was the air, fresh air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone, perhaps? But no. I looked up to see some birds. They're so pretty. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Pretty too. Eventually, I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. What's this remind you of, readers? I have a text-to-text -text connection here. This exact part. Characters going to the top of a hill and relaxing. What other book of the day does that remind you of? Pause here and talk about it. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch. Not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. Ah. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the stillness, the view. The sky, the clouds, the sunset. Oh, and those colors. My goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward option. But eventually, the sun sank below the horizon. Wow, readers, isn't that breathtaking? That is beautiful. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch. Whew. I hit the button to brush my teeth. Scritch, scritch, scritch. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas. Bloop. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Good night, Spud. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. What do you notice, readers? What do you notice about your character? It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often. Maybe every day even. What do you realize? And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies, outside. We've started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. 
Look around, readers. What do you notice about Couch Potato and his buddies? What do you notice? It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. And I'm a kind potato. I'm an entertaining potato. And I'm a sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato. Yes, there's a great big world out there. And I want to be a part of it in person. What do you learn, readers? What'd you learn? But don't get me wrong. At the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. What are we supposed to learn here, readers? What are we supposed to learn? What a great story. Happy reading.